What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast. We've been receiving quite a few messages about uh, wanting to see some mirror matchups. So I was on the lookout for a mirror matchup and I saw this one come uh, through. Rush versus Royal. Should be a good match here. We've got let me just make sure I got this right. This is Rush over here in the top left-hand corner. Royal is down here in the bottom right. I was just um, running that through my head here, trying to make sure that I don't forget that fact. You can easily reverse the names when uh, the names are so close like this. Uh, just a couple of barcodes on the ladder, and they are mirrored it's pretty tough to keep those two straight but we've got a barracks first here out of royal brush gonna build his barracks inside his main much more standard play from him we'll see how he wants to follow this up how many marines are gonna be get produced here is very important as well two SAVs are out here to scout for royal he's checking around he's gonna scout last but his marine will arrive first Will he bring both SCVs together to try and make something happen here? Or is he going to send one of them home? We're about to find out. First SCV is out here for Rush. It's going to be scouting around to the top right. Sees the SCV. And he's playing a very standard game. He's about to start his factory. We've got three Marines with a fourth on the way. So he's going to push the issue here. Now the barracks hasn't been lifted yet. But we've only... Okay, he does lift it, and there's only one Marine. This is really bad for Rush now. He's going to have to land this. Yeah, he has to land it and, and make um, some more Marines here. Otherwise, he's going to get in a lot of trouble. Great pullback here from Royal. Not getting surrounded by those uh, SCVs right off the bat. Going to have to back away. Looks like this one might get killed. No, he managed to keep that alive. And he targets, targets down the Marine there. Keeping uh, on the back foot right now. Falling all the way back here. To the reinforcement marine. Another marine going to pop out. And a bunker has been finished. Actually built a bunker, Royal did, inside the base of Rush. So he's pretty committed to this. He really does need to get some more damage than that. He's gotten a, a few SCVs thus far. And these are very low SCVs now. Oh no, the first... Uh, this marine coming out here actually taking quite a bit of damage. That's a big blunder here for Rush. Royal might be able to snowball that. He's got three Marines to the one Marine. Instantly kill that Marine. And now he's going to be able to dive inside this bunker. And that's within range of the factory, of course. The factory can just lift and back up. But this is quite annoying right now. We still don't have that factory yet here. For Royal. But the bunker inside the main is pretty darn frustrating to deal with. I actually haven't really seen this situation too much with a bunker... Just right at the natural. It's not actually hitting anything. It's not in range of the mineral patches either. It's a little bit of a funny spot here that we find ourselves in. Gonna get a machine shop online and eventually pop out a tank. And if you didn't know, tank will outrange the bunker here. So after all that was said and done, SCV count is looking pretty healthy here for Royal. He's created this problem for Rush to deal with. Now, Rush should be able to deal with that without too much of an issue. I'm going to try and snipe that SCV there. Just to make this uh, whole process go a little bit quicker. If he can snipe the SCV, then the bunker will burn down a lot faster. If he can continue to repair it, then I think you need to get like a second tank out here or something in order to get rid of that. Another SCV gonna come up. He wants to repair. He wants to repair this. He really does want to repair this to buy as much time as possible. Pulling the Marines out. Uh, he pulled the Marines out there to try and uh, bait some tank shots onto it. the Marines, and doesn't really work out for him too good. Gonna target onto the Vulture. He gets one Marine for his trouble, but not gonna get the Vulture or anything like that. And we've got one tank, one Vulture here for Rush. And although he is a little bit behind in terms of the worker supply, I think he's overall ahead right now. Of course, second factory is not done. 
So maybe I spoke too soon. We got two factories here. It's just we've already got two tanks out. Yeah, I would really like Russia's position a lot better. Okay, even a starport here as well. So with the Wraith, this push that uh, Russia's doing across the map actually does nothing. It is going to do absolutely nothing, and we may even lose a tank because of this. The Wraith play was a really smart move to follow this up. The tanks are going to come forward here. He's trying to target down one of these vultures. Vulture's just going to get here right on top of that high ground. Do the best that he can to trade here. Should kill both the vultures pretty darn quick. And as long as he backs away with the tank and doesn't lose the tank, he's going to be very well off here. All right, mines are going to go down. Oh, boy. He does get both tanks. So, great trade there from Royal. Really good trade. Two vultures got killed. For rush two tanks as well so royal gonna be fe feeling very good about that and in command right now as he flies across the map to try and deal some damage armory is done however so i didn't actually see this armory being built but we do have that armory and with the two goliaths popping out he shouldn't take any damage here but everything's gonna be spotted the armory the two facts he knows exactly what's coming here out of rush, but he's gonna respond with his CC. And it looks like Rush is thinking the same thing as well. There it is, CC. CC here for Rush. And everything's gonna calm down for a little bit. We're gonna take a little break here on both sides, it seems. Um, three vultures to three vultures. Okay, this could be a tight fight. Let's see how this goes. Actually, Rush got the first shot, even though Royal had the high ground, which is um, not what I expected at all. However, Royal still might be able to win this. No, just barely not going to win this. That is unfortunate. We'll end up losing one vulture more than his opponent. Bit of a tough spot for Royal. No map control at this point. We will see mines laid down all over the place. We didn't really see that many mines. I guess we got three here, three here, and there were a few laid here as well. So I suppose he got most of his mines out. Now the army actually moving around this side. I'm a little bit surprised to see this. Will he try to uh, take this high ground? That would be uh, optimistic here. Two tanks with two more popping out right now. Plus, we've got mines behind this. Let's see if he can jump on one of these tanks. One tank may end up going down. He does get the one tank. Really good exchange there. Oh, but he's going to come in and go for some more. I don't know about this. One more tank. Is it going to fall? Good pullback there from Royal. But he moves forward too quickly. And Rush gets yet another tank. Very good trading here with the low number of Goliaths. Now, these few Goliaths are going to end up falling in the end. So he traded like four Goliaths and a couple of vultures for two tanks. Eh, it's still the same amount of gas, right? It's a pretty even trade, so I'm not not too excited about it for Rush, and I don't think he is either. Laying down some mines right at the front here. Of course, Goliaths are very good at pushing those back, but Royal's gonna try and push up here. Ooh, a mine connection. Big mine connection there. Actually hitting one of those Goliaths and with the damage from that mine, we're all going to suddenly move forward and take this high ground. Dude, this is uh, this is scary now. Let's take a look at what we've got production-wise. Two factories here. And we've actually gone double starport. Oh, man. This is a smart play by uh, Royal. A lot of the times when your opponent goes starport... Oh, he right-clicked the barracks. That's so sad. When your opponent goes starport, they're not expecting you to ha have your own starports. And if you, like, double down, go even harder into air than they do. For example, here, Ru Ru <laughs> excuse me, Rush, seeing that there was one starport producing rates, decides to switch it up and go for two. He's going to be able to overwhelm and shove Royal all the way back home. He's waiting for his own anti-air, but... In the meantime, he's losing SCVs here. Finally, the Goliaths are going to come out. But the position that was looking very nice for Royal is now... 
highly in favor of Rush. He's got four rates out right now. He's gonna loop around, try to hit some SCVs. Gotta force these uh, Goliaths back. Meanwhile, Vulture run by gonna come into the natural here. So he will be denied pretty darn quick. But in the meantime, one Wraith does fall. We've still got three Wraiths remaining. Barracks going down here in the middle of the map. Really hard to get back here right now. He's ac accidentally attacking his own uh, SCV there, unfortunately. But uh, these Wraiths will get out in the end. Back at home, adding on more factories. Getting up into a nice high factory count. No more uh, air production right now. Valkyrie pops out here for Royal. Looking to counter those wraiths hard. You rarely ever build a Valkyrie unless your opponent is massing wraiths. And I don't think that's actually the case. We're not seeing that mass wraith play. Just the four. And now those starports are going to be silent here. Army moving around the side of Royal's push out. Now, what will he be able to do with these tanks? He's going to get into a nice position where maybe he could threaten the gas over here in the natural, but he's also going to put himself in a precarious little spot here where the army of Royal could absolutely crush him. Let's see if Royal can bring the hammer down here on this small army. Four tanks only, and of course, no upgrades have come through yet, so... These tanks are going to get wiped out pretty darn quick. They are taking a reasonable trade, though, in the end. Filling off quite a few of the tanks. I think at least four tanks of Royal went down to the four tanks here of Rush. So, overall, a relatively even trade. We're still very, very close in supply as Royal tries to take his third base. And Rush responds in kind we could end up splitting the map here, guys. Let's zoom out a little bit. Splitting the map vertically, it is possible. It can be done, but it's pretty tough. It is pretty tough to do. This is a very wide open space. Splitting it this way is much, much easier. Um, but uh, we'll see if that ends up happening here. They're, the way that they're expanding right now is telling me that it might. I'm gonna get this big siege up here in the middle of the map. Good target fire there. From Rush, Royal. Being outnumbered here by the number of vultures. Pushing up onto these tanks. He's gonna lose that tank to a mine hit. Bit rough here for Royal. As he loops back around, he's at least gonna catch the vultures making their way over here to the third. Prevent that base from getting sniped at least. At the very least, keep that. SCV alive. Rush playing a very fluid game right now. He's been moving around the positions of Royal very, very quickly and making him respond. It's really been Royal on the back foot for a lot of this. Every move that he's had forward has been kind of thrown back by Rush in a pretty significant way. And now, Royal here, dodging back and forth, trying to keep an eye on this army with the scans. Where did those wraiths go? Saw them here just a moment ago. There they are. Up over here at the 12 o'clock. Again, rotating. This time, Royal did not move. So maybe Rush can get in over here. Maybe he can get into this position. If you can get up against this wall, you can actually hit this CC. It's a very, very strong spot to be in. He's not actually gonna move towards that location though. He would need another scan to clear out those mines. Ooh, three wraiths gonna come up here and actually pick off this Goliath. And you can see that uh, Roll was really banking on having the superior wraith count here. Because he did go for the double fact or double starport, but with the two Valkyries, he can seize away that air control. So Rush here in a bit of trouble. Oh, run by over towards the third. Rush has more tanks though, and he did get some more uh, Goliaths out here in the mix. 
fourth base going down on either side, it seems now. Both players grabbing that mineral only. It's not the greatest base in the world. Quite a uh, worthless base in this matchup, but you can pump out a lot more vultures with that. Of course, supply depots cost minerals too. Everything costs minerals. It's just the gas that's really the limiting factor from the majority of the mech army now. Rush is starting to show his class here. Just shooting ahead of Royal a little bit in terms of that supply. Royal starting to fall behind. He's absolutely not out of it yet, though. Another move around the side here by Rush. Starting to really cut off the exit locations here for Royal. Royal being much more defensive. Giving up a lot of map control here. He may end up going down this direction. And taking this space down here. So we may actually see a horizontal map split. With Royal taking the entire bottom side of the map. And Rush taking the entire top side of the map. I did see some dropships in production now. Dropships are starting to increment out here. Two have already hit the field. But Rush is going to shove into this position. Oh my god, that's so much stuff. Where is Royal's army right now? He needs to bring forward some units just some bulk to mix into this because the vultures are in such a high number at this point overwhelming the position we only have that plus one plus one on both sides luckily for royal a lot of the goliaths were picked off during that fight so the wraiths are going to be able to make some headway here getting at least one tank maybe even two he pushes up as well with the tanks. Picks off another. Here from Rush. Very important that he keeps this lane open though. He does not have access to this area. If this lane gets cut off. And we see Rush sitting outside here. Then this area will fall to Rush as well. You can see he's already taking a base over here. Same goes for Royal. Small contingent of tanks down here on the bottom side. Now, Royal has options, right? He could try to push down here and save this base, or he could push around this direction. There's not a lot of tanks in this area. If he can push northward, he is actually going to go for a drop around the north. He will be hitting this base, I think. Setting up tanks on this side, getting another CC going. He's still... Uh, angling towards this location actually for the uh, next base for the fifth base but dropping over here in the top center the CC did finish up in time so it may not end up going down army making its way up here but this is a very nice position for Royal to be very tough for Rush to actually break out of this spot instead he's going to go for the counter going to try and set up a position here where he can hit the CC and other buildings over at this location. Let's see what Royal has to respond. Bringing forward some vultures. Tanks are going to be sent northward here as well, but a really good siege up here by Rush. Time to actually lift those units over here at the 12 o'clock and maybe go for the main base. We need to start dealing more damage to rush if we want to be able to win this game he's gonna land over here a very sticky position here it's very hard to dislodge royal from this location but a good siege up on this side of the river will help him to break this spot still three tanks do remain here and he's shutting down the mineral only mining whereas uh Rush is starting to hit this CC, which is it, it pretty serious. You need to repair that. Oh, boy. Royal, instead, he's going to have to move all of his SCVs to prevent them from heading backwards and getting picked off. Oh, no. Everything getting baited in over here. That is tough. A lot of these air units are going to end up going down. In fact, all the Wraiths and the Valkyries just fell. So, 
Royal is now in a world of pain here. He's actually pushed through the center, so there wasn't that many tanks over here. He pushes out, and he's going to try and take center control. He's going to try and push through the middle. Rush is going to move out to meet him. Was this too uh, forward here for Rush? Running out and trying to take this fight. Maybe before he was in a good enough position or in a high enough number. Needs to bring all the tanks to the defense of this base, but he doesn't really have too much now. Royal is pushing in for the win. These tanks over here need to get moving, get some more damage done. They either need to hit this base. Okay, they are hitting that base now. Or they need to get back and defend. Big load up right now from Royal. He's going to try and hit center left, it looks like. And he should be able to land right back here without taking any turret damage. That's going to be huge. Or maybe he lands right on top of here. Oh gosh, he's going to fly into the turrets instead. That's a little bit funny. I don't know why he decided to fly into the turrets there. Oh, are the mines going to connect? Oh my god, the mine connections there are huge. A lot of SCVs are going down right now because the base in the center right was killed. Whereas now Ro Rush is mining off of one more base than Royal. Royal needs to make a move here. He needs to make a big move that's going to potentially bring him back in this game because that drop was just not it. Rush too quick with the mines. And unfortunately, a lot of the tanks dancing on each other. Allowing mines to connect with that. And a last hope here for Royal down in the bottom center. He needs to take this base right here, right now. He's pushing forward. Do we have plus two yet? Plus two is done on either side. In fact, plus three is done now here for Royal. So getting a little bit ahead in that upgrade game now. Does he one big mine? And the army is going to push down and actually take ownership of this mineral only. A lot of SCVs can fall here as they try to transfer down to the 6 o'clock. He's actually going to bring his tanks back up. Still has a fair amount of tanks here at the middle. I'm going to try and break this spot. Bring the SCVs to fight. Can he break out here? Looks like he will. Royal still below supply right now. But hanging in there strong. Unfortunately though, hasn't had a third gas up and running here for quite some time. And now we've got dropships out on the map. What do we have in them? Three tanks and a few vultures. That is a great harassment force that could be laid down here at the 6 o'clock. Just really make a massive problem here for Royal. And this army here could actually move southward. Get into position to prevent reinforcements from making their way down here to save this base. He's going to pull the SCVs. It's too tough to get back there actually deal with that so royal we're seeing just slowly fall apart here as rush takes control fully in this game he's prevented the third gas for long enough at this point where he's actually going to be able to bring forward a much larger army to bear down on this six o'clock and finally royal is going to pull back his main force all that ground he gained in the middle of the map is going to have to be given back to the enemy because he needs these tanks in position to help save this base. And I think it's just a little bit too little too late. Look at how many SCVs have gone down here. We're about to mine out of the natural. And the mineral only is not even going to be mining anymore in a moment. Pushing forward here. Setting up tanks. Killing off the tanks of Rush and pushing him back. But he's just buying so much time. Slowing down this fresh base. And not allowing any more gas to filter in the economy of Royal. GG is called Rush takes this game. A hard fought one though. Royal slugging it out here. We didn't go all the way to battle cruisers or anything like that. But I think this is one of my favorite types of TVT. Is when we get to a solid mid game. Lots of action on both sides. Drop ships come in really uh, big. Uh, I like to see when we get those doom drop level plays where one player flies in with a massive drop into the main and maybe we get base trade situations. Those are always fun, but still a decent game here between Rush and Royal. Seeing their relative power levels, I would say that they are pretty well matched. I wouldn't say that 
you know, Rush dominated this game. He definitely had a few better plays, but imagine if Royal, instead of dropping here, had gone up to this corner and dropped all the tanks up here. It would have been much harder for the Vultures to get in and drop mines on top of that. And he wouldn't have had the added pressure of the turrets hitting him. See, look exactly where Rush dropped on this base. The same position exists over here. And it would have been much, much better for Royal. He might have been able to force this CC away. Things could have been a lot different there. But instead, the mines exploded. They killed almost all the tanks. And he was easily able to clean this up. And sometimes that's all it takes, guys. In a game this tricky in TVT, this matchup is very, very finicky. And... Rush manages to take it home. He was the better player today. But there's always tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here for your daily dose of Brood War. I'll see you in the next video.